Hey there, Internet. I'm Kyle. Apparently, I'm back playing Final Fantasy VII Remake on the PS4. Um, on our last episode, we uh, escaped from the Shinra cops uh, after destroying the first reactor in the game. And now we're on a train. Oh, here we go. Getting some Resident Evil Zero vibes. Oh yeah, getting some Resident Evil flashbacks. Cramped train cars. Yeah, we don't need reactors. All right. Oh my God. Hey. Wanted the train for sector two. Stop that right now. Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. I um. If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Ooh. Jeez. You don't make it easy. They even have hotels down there. Yeah, that's pretty intense. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, got a sec? Yeah, I do, Charlie Sheen. Uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8, I'm a soldier. Wow, my hands are still shaky. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Hmm. Alrighty. No. I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? It should. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I'm not going to address the thirst trap. Uh-oh. Oh, this is awesome. Go so far as to bomb a reactor. Barrett's about to freak out on this guy. This is going to be great. They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Man with gun arm. Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. <laughs> With tactical gear and a gun arm. <laughs> In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Barrett doing a good job keeping a low profile here. Submit to intimidation or violence. Oh, there's the line. Work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. You guys are tools. <laughs> You're fighting words. Ooh, buddy. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Lordy. All right. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. What happened back there, champ? <laughs> oh, is this where Jesse's going to explain this the way the rails work here and how we're not getting detected? Visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not. There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, 
Here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an Messages. Allegories. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. He said it. Shimmer sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Damn, Barrett. Damn. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. I'm sure there's some switching stations. All right. Shops and vending machines. You can purchase items at shops and vending machines throughout the city. No two shops are ever the same. And some may contain rare items. Ooh. All right. I'm looking forward to a shop. Home sweet slum. Eek. Stop yelling the crimes we just committed. <laughs> yeah, y'all are stupid. Now get some R &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works? Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Ah, this is a really, really beautiful rendition of this song. I guess now is like the first time I can really freely explore, so we're gonna do a little bit of that for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, wow. Like, there aren't really words. Alright, well, we got some vendors over here. Can I get some noodles, like in Blade Runner? Hey, buddy. You okay? Alright. Well, hang in there, friendo. Uh-oh. Who's this dork? Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? How the hell it is. 
goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. What a douche. Steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> Okay, buddy. Foreshadowing. Mako junkie, huh? Figures. Um. So these ring wraiths, they're not going away, huh? <laughs> All right. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up. Huh. You're such a kidder. All right. Sector 7 slums. Yeah, I figured they were going to expand most of, like, the uh, shopping areas and just fill them with all kinds of content. I mean, they're they're basically taking the first disc and making it a 30-hour game. So I figured everything was just going to be bigger and more expansive. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's see. There's 7th Heaven. I kind of want to walk around first. It is not letting me... You know, do I have to go straight to 7th Heaven? Yeah, looks like I have to go. All right, well, let's go do this and get it over with. Marlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I am. Back. <laughs> have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> keep up. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? No, give it to Barrett. He's who I want to take on the date at Gold Saucer. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Alrighty. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Me, a borderline sociopath? <laughs> hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. He's right. That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. Uh, uh, so then, what can I get you? Uh, I'm still waiting on it. Straight to the point, Cloud. Uh, right. About that. Uh oh. We should talk outside. Oh. This sounds like you don't have my money. Daddy? Ooh, that is heavy. <laughs> uh, oof. All right. Before we get on to money, uh -huh. there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. Mm. The landlady's a big friend of the cars, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Uh. Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Okay. How was it up on the plate? There was 
chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Take me to this sick free apartment. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. So, you make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. No. I'll give you that. Alrighty. Oh, look at this cool motel down here. I wonder if I this is where I'm staying. On the news. It was like a war zone. Yeah, the it was me. Was just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies One Shinra tells him to. It so, it wasn't that was bad? Safe. No, it was bad. A lot of people died. Yeah. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Alrighty. Are there cool collectibles I can put in my apartment? Here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else. What with seventh heaven and all, <laughs> not even time to decorate. Okay. Here's your room, two o two. Don't worry. I already told the landlady about you. Okay. You did. What'd you tell her? Yes. Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Okay. Seems suspicious, but fine. Uh... A little bare, what? But should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <laughs> this is not how you do business. Are you sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, at least fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Will do. Are these Jesse proof locks? <laughs> All right, so now I have my own sick apartment. That's fun. I bet I have really not fucked up dreams. <laughs> Who finna get bopped? Guess it's time for introductions. Sounds like it. I'm not actually sure who this is gonna be. This might be a new character. You okay in there? Is this guy R sick? Coming in. Sephiroth. <laughs> That was pretty good. Dear Lord, those the ancients? Or, oh, not the ancients, they're the, uh, Oh, they're the guys that Sephiroth brainwashed? It has been a while. Marco. This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Yeah, this guy are definitely sick.
do love me some coffee. Yep, I just sleep in my combat boots and my baggy pants and my gauntlet. <laughs> With my weird pauldron. But sleeping with my sword, that would be unrealistic and strange. Alrighty. Do I finally get to explore? Ah! Now is that natural sunlight or is that... That's partially natural sunlight. Um... No. Maybe I'll go check on this dork. No. <laughs> All right. I guess we're gonna go to the bar. Oh, if I don't have a cutscene. Well, now you must be Cloud. I must I'm be. Carl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? View from up on high. I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had, and if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Oh, she got a puppy. Can I talk to the dog? Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you, and then some. All right. Uh, I want to talk to this dog. Can I pet the dog? Can I pet that dog? All right. All right, I guess I'm just gonna go straight to Seventh Heaven. If I am going the right way. I feel like I'm going the right way. Oh yeah, this is it right here. All right. Yeah. Eggs and chips, that sounds delicious. Good morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Wow, you're bringing me along to intimidate poor people. Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. No. Please, no. <laughs> Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff we need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry, we'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. Don't take your eyes as long as I get it all today. Yep. Get your money, Cloud. You can hear music near shops and certain characters as you approach the source of the music. A music icon will appear. The icon means that music that a music disc is available at a nearby shop or vending machine. Ooh. So I can just like collect the soundtrack. That's fun. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa baby, how you doing? Lordy. Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. Not with that haircut, sir. Yeah. There's only room for one dorky haircut in this crew. Since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. Um, yeah, what do you have, sir? Ooh, you have materias? Let's see. I think I got Does it show what I already have? Oh yeah. Um So I feel like I should get one of the other two. How much gold do I have? Yeah, we're going by an ice and a lightning. All right, cool. Um, items, what do you sell? Oh, he sells the prey. Okay, yeah, definitely buying 
one of those. And yep. All right. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around. Won't do. <laughs> and let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want. So. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. Okay. You, maybe. Ooh. Well, you could try being a little nicer. Mm, no. Appreciate. Not my style. <laughs> I really like Cloud in this one. <laughs> Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Mmm, no can do. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This is his first nothing to report. Maintain it. Hey Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? You were just super friendly to me. That's out of nowhere and uncalled for. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. <laughs> Who is that? God, that voice actress sounds so familiar. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Oh, Are you God, getting it's gonna kill me. A good long rest of pure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh, taking a break at a rest spot recovers all your HP and MP. All right. Cool. Alrighty. How many more of these do we have to hit? I'm trying to do math here. She helped get me set up back in the day. Five years, give or take. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. Okay, so there's just one more. Cool. Alright, we'll do that. Um Look at this man with a machine gun. Final Fantasy humor. He really kind of almost does look like Laguna. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do door? How how do? Uh... Hey, that last filter didn't do shit. We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out. All right. If you could just settle your bill. We'll be on our way. Ooh, this is gonna go poorly. You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? This is not BK. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Yeah, from the guy I just physically threatened. When will Barrett be back with the rest? Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Ooh, side quests already. Fun. I didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Um. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. Wow, that's kind of what I figured. Keep you and your family safe, and with a weapon of your own. 
Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode right there. If you've watched this far, thank you so very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm Kyle apparently, and I'll see you next time.